Hey YouTube, here we are again in beautiful northwest region of the country. And we're going to do round two of Flex Glue. Once again, I am not sponsored in any part by Phil Swift or Flex Corporation. What happened here is I was working outside up on the ladder and dropped my drill. And it cracked like bejeebies and it's being held together right now by electrical tape. So we're going to try to flex glue it. We're going to take the electrical tape off and flex glue it together. And here we go. Now, as we all know in the first video, we're not so sure how the flex glue turned out for the F-150, but let's see how it turns out for this uh, drill. Let's start taking the tape apart. I mean, the drill still works, but as you can see, see it su sustained quite a bit of damage. It comes apart. That's no good. So what we'll do is we will put some flex glue in the cracks and we will tape it together Make sure and see if it works after that. Cut a little bit of the end off. Actually what I might do is even duct tape it because I'm not even a big fan of this flex tape either anymore. But that's okay. Everybody has their, their inventions and we'll see if this invention works. Now here we go. Flex glue. Let's do some magic. If this don't work. Flex glue is going in the garbage. Or something. Not sure yet. Close it up. Hold it together for 30 seconds. Actually, we are going to remove that glob because I still want to be able to turn that switch on and off. Let's see if it's working still. So far so good. Hmm. So should I count? Nah. These these drills are very good. They're very sturdy and very strong. I really like them. Uh, battery lasts a long time and uh, can be dropped from heights of 12 feet. 12 feet. However, still works. Pretty impressed. Let's just see if flex glue can impress me. All right, well, that concludes this section of uh, flex glue on the Makita drill. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and the like button and you can comment below. Thanks and have a great day.